Hi again. In this video tutorial, we are going to complete the unit 24 suffixes, page 53. Before doing this page, watch the previous video on the topic suffixes to understand better. On this page, there are two exercises practice and extension. Let's start the first one. Add the suffix ed, ing, r, er to complete each sentence. First look in the box, the extra information. Remember, sometimes you need to double the last letter. We have read the rule that we double the last letter if the one before it is a single vowel or a short vowel sound. So keep this rule in your mind when you are adding E, D, I, N, D, R, E, R. Number one, this ice cream is big than yours. So here it is a comparison between two ice creams. So we will change big into a comparative adjective. So we will add E, R to make it comparative adjective. Big is a short vowel sound, so we will double the last letter G before adding ER. So this ice cream is bigger than yours. Next is the pirates were look for the treasure. Pirates are the people who steal things at the sea from the people. So in this sentence, uh, in this sentence, the pirates were look for the treasure. This uh, action is happening in the past tense. Were is in the form of verb to be in the past tense. So we will add ing with the verb look. The pirates were looking for the treasure. We searched and searched, but we could not find it. Could is telling us that this is in the past, so we will add just ed to make the past verb. We searched and searched, but we could not find it. The run who came first received the medal. Who we use for the person, so it must be a noun. The runner who came first received the medal. You will double the n before adding er. The runner who came first received the medal. Cook is one of my hobbies. So very simple. Cooking is one of my hobbies. Just add ing. The long you take to get ready, the less time we will have for swim. The longer you take to get ready, the less time we will have for swimming. Swimming is a noun. So here you will add ER to make it longer and at the end you will add ING to make it swimming. Before ING you will double the last letter N. Next is extension. Use the suffix ING to change these sentences into the present tense. So in these sentences first you will change the past verb into the present tense by removing ed and adding ing then you will add the verb to be in the form of is am or are so the birds circled overhead will change into the birds are circling overhead the birds are plural so we will use are then circled will change into circling overhead keep spiling rule in the, in the mind when we add ing the last letter e we will remove the last letter e before adding ing a stranger moved into the village a stranger is moving into the village we will change ed into ing and then we will add is before this verb the garage door creaked in the wind the garage door is creaking in the wind. I tried hard with my fractions. 
I am trying hard with my reactions. IED will change into Y and ING. T R Y I N G. I am trying hard with my reactions. Next is B. Use the suffix ED to change these sentences into the past tense. First, look at this tick box. Find the two words that make up the present tense verb. Use one word with ED instead. In the first A, we changed past into the present. Now we will change present into the past. We are wondering if our decision was the right one. So first find the two words that make up the present tense that are are wondering. We are wondering. So we will change we uh, are wondering into the past tense. So we will remove the verb to be and change ing to ed. So we wondered if our decision was the right one. I am posting a letter to my friend. I posted a letter to my friend. They are electing the team captain. They elected the team captain. We are sailing into the harbor. We sailed into the harbor. So here it is the end. I hope you understand. Now do these exercises and send your work in the mailbox. Thank you.